Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your February 16th through the 22nd uh, general reading. So um, let's jump into this. Um, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, so Taurus, let's see where we are. Okay, so this week, okay, oh my. Uh, Taurus, you may be traveling. So, if you're not traveling, you're just in a very peaceful, meditative state <clears throat> with your loved one. Whomever that could be. Taurus, it's either someone's traveling to you or vice versa. It looks like you may be jumping out of the window for somebody or for something. Um, this week may be one of, it's going to be peaceful, but it's like a choice to be made here. In regards to somebody where they're in and out of your life or you're in and out of their life but it's like knight of cups knight of wands it's like you guys are doing a lot you know um, falling back in love with each other each other or I'm just seeing like caught up in like a rapture just like just caught up in the newness and the bliss of someone could be feeling this way about you tours or vice versa towards you someone feels like you're absolutely dynamic or you feel this way about someone else um we have the queen of earth and the potential outcome for this week is the Empress, like starting something new, a new relationship, a new business, abundance here, nurturing yourself or, or others. You're at a place of, you really like somebody, but I don't think they know how much you like them. You guys can't get out of the creation phase. You can't get out of the dating, the courting phase. Like, we're doing stuff, we're going here, we're, you know, whatever. You can't get into, okay, so we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, should we move together? Um, should I get a job closer? You know, making real uh, choices in regards to this other person in your life. Or this person that you're, you're going towards. It, it couldn't ever get out of that dating, that creation phase. And it looks like it's either starting back up again. This could be somebody that you want to potentially marry. But once again, you guys can't get out of the threes you have nothing solid between the two of you you know the most lasting relationships are those that where people made plans to you know make concrete and structural plans where we can't just walk away you know it's like if you choose to move in with someone so you may be assuming some of the bills or uh, so you can't just walk away from that or if I'm hearing engagement like if you choose to propose to someone with the intent to marry them then you're creating that that solid foundation but 
you guys can't even move past just the newness the honeymoon phase the yeah you guys can't get out of that and it feels like this is a relationship that has a significant amount of history the advice this week Taurus is for you to start looking at things traditionally um, if the question is to marry talk to friends about it Marri th coming together with someone else and really making that grand gesture can end maybe a difficult or tough situation it's nothing like being in a, a real union a real partnership that takes you to the next level the you and that person to the next level it's like coming together as one and being able to accomplish long-term goals in career in life getting recognition but some of you can't get out of this i'm hearing like some of you don't want to sacrifice the freedom some of you think that this is a perfect person to marry like this is a good person but or someone feels this way about you Taurus but they are not pulling the trigger it's just been like a whirlwind love affair when you come together you have so much fun you feel so good it's so peaceful it's so great it's so this it's so that and then you you guys kind of I don't know if you go back your separate ways and then eventually you come back together and do the same thing but you guys can't get out of some some phase it might be you, Taurus. It might be the other person. Let's see what the shells have to offer us. Hmm. Okay, wow. All right. Ooh, okay. So we have lies. You see that? Money. Okay. And open. So some of you maybe aren't open to... And that's why it says look at different viewpoints and different methods of maybe either making money or coming together or, or whatnot. Some of you aren't open to taking the relationship, the partnership, the job or whatever to the next level because of money. This would be a relationship. Somebody's lying or there has been lies or Maybe that's what's keeping you guys apart. The lies. I don't know. Lies here. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to pull a few more cards. Because I'm curious. What is this about? The moon. Oh. It could be lies. And it could be lies that you tell yourself. That you don't want a committed relationship. Or you don't feel that way about this person. Or this is. The moon comes up when you. Sometimes it's a self deception. Deceiving yourself. In regards to how you feel about a particular person. Towards either you. Or this is them. Or it's the both of you. Not being open. Not being. Um, in a place of, ex of acceptance. This is like deep dark emotions that you hide that you suppress some of you is sexuality or someone around you they're suppressing you know maybe their sexuality something that they find that they have buried deep within them because of maybe traditional viewpoints or someone wouldn't be accepted
some of some people feel like you're getting married too soon or things are moving too fast something may come back from the past or just you're gonna have to deal with a person a place or thing some interference in future plans it could be surrounding money some people feel like you're taking too long to pull the trigger you or someone else Taurus there's a lot of needing to really unearth uh, unpack some certain some feelings that you have about a particular person place or thing or self or self expression hmm okay Taurus I hope that you have a really good um, yeah I hope that you have a really good uh, week um, it could be one of where you're trying to figure out where you belong who you belong with or in what you belong some of you it is sexuality okay thank you Taurus if you have a question or two you can always uh, text the number below uh, you can pay for your question uh, receive the answer for your question all on your mobile device this just makes me more accessible to you and you accessible to me do keep in mind this is not my personal phone number this is a business line so there are business hours okay thank you take care many blessings to you